coming to you today with a first impressions review of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals, Rose Metals palette. I just got it in the mail today as I was coming back from my wax appointment. And I was like, let me go ahead and film a look. It's pretty, well, it's not lately. It's like 7.36. And I just finished this makeup look using this palette. I just wanted to come on and do a first impressions video and do a comparison video as well. This palette is more gorgeous in person than the pictures online. I absolutely love this palette. I am an extreme fan of Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, products, especially their eyeshadows. I'm not too fond of their brow products, but I love their eyeshadows. So I'm going to do a comparison of uh, the Rose palette and the Nouveau palette just because they both recently came out and I want you guys to see them together. So just one sec. I love the Nouveau palette as well. And it's a video already posted with this particular palette that I uh, used, but I love the Rose palette better than I love the Nouveau palette. So this is the two palettes, Rose palette, Nouveau palette side by side. And there are a few similarity shades like the Muse shade in the Nouveau palette and the Noc Nocturne shadow and the rose palette are very similar but one is more shimmery and metallic than the other the rose palette is more metallic than the nouveau palette and then you have the hope uh shade in the nouveau palette that's very similar to the haze and the nocturne palette i mean nocturne eyeshadow shades in the rose palette so very similar but different the rose palette is a lot more warm and um the Nouveau palette is a lot, lot more neutral. Now I do like that the Nouveau palette has some lighter shades that you can um, apply to the lid and it's transition shades. There are some lighter transition shades. So I like the Nouveau palette in that regard better, but I love the flexibility in the Rose palette because you can create a holiday look, a fall look, um, a smoky eye look, and you can create a stone deep neutral look but you'll see the swatches i didn't swatch this palette so i'm going to have to take some product shots with this and insert this as well so i'm going to swatch the nouveau palette and swatch them side by side and i'll do some product shots side by side so you guys can see them but i am absolutely in love with both palettes but i do like the rose palette let's say three notches better than the nouveau palette and i really love the nouveau palette as with all Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows, just if you're a beginner, if you're an expert, if you're intermediate, this palette will make a simple look amazing. So if you're new to makeup, this will be the palette that I would choose. You know, it, it glides on very seamlessly. It doesn't take much to build up the shadows. You, they blend out very easily. And I created this look and it was very seamless to do it. It was really nice. It was really easy. It didn't take me a lot of time. Um, I did use concealer as my base and I set. And I'm going to show you what concealer I used. So you guys can get more of an idea of how it matched up. I used the Elf Stick Concealer in the shade Medium Dark. And I used the Charlotte Tilbury what is um the charlotte tilbury this one i'll have to show it to you because i can't i don't remember the name of this but i use this one to set it charlotte tilbury so that's my eyeshadow base and i absolutely love the way the look came out it just really the metallic shades are like no other so let's just go over some more specifics of the palette in there, it's an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette. The pressed pigments are amazing. They're metallic pressed pigments, so you can really glimp up a look. You can really just put it on your lid and go. You can apply it with your finger or the or a brush. I don't like applying makeup with my finger, so I did use eyeshadow brushes, and I use all different kind of brushes. And they're drugstore base price br brushes. I use a BH Cosmetics brush. I use the Morphe blending brush. I use the e.l.f. brush. And all of the shadows work well with all those synthetic brushes. So I really do like that you don't have to use 12, 12 new shades. 
And there's a shade called Rose Quartz. It's a metallic pink champagne with sparkling reflex. The Royal shade is a sparkling burgundy with pink reflex. The Haze shade is a metallic silver gold with multi-dimensional reflex. The Rose Fire shade is a metallic fiery copper with multi-dimensional reflex. Sun Rose is matte peachy brown with sparkling reflex. And Nova is a metallic golden bronze with multi-dimensional reflex. And Heavenly is a metallic platinum gold with multi-dimensional reflex. The shade Element is a metallic rosy brown. The shade Dune is a matte rustic brown. Nocturne is a metallic gray stone, gray stone with sparkling reflex. And Noble is a matte plum brown. And all of those shades, descriptions match every shade. So on my lid, I have a rose fire and just to rose fire is a metallic fiery copper with multi-dimensional reflex, which I can see looking in my mirror and looking at that particular shade. I have the shade noble on, which is a matte plum brown, which that is very, that is an exact description of that shade. I have the shade ashes also in my crease. That's a matte grayish taupe with sparkling reflex, which is true. I don't really see the sparkling reflex, but it could come across that way. And also I have the shade Nova in my waterline. The shade Nova is a metallic golden bronze with multi-dimensional reflex. To me, it pulls more green because I have the shade Noble and Nova in my waterline. Did wear off a little bit because you guys know my eyes are super watery but however it did it's more green to me than golden brown but all the shades are amazing you will get a lot you will get fallout with this palette if you do not tap your brush in it but so because i know to automatically tap my brush i didn't get fallout all over my face but the shades are just that creamy and easy to apply that if you don't tap the excess off of your brush you can get a lot of fallout but it is so easy to create a quick everyday look a glammed up look a muted look or a smoky look a deep or light smoky look with this palette that is just amazing. The price is $55 for the 12 shadows. That is a price increase. But as you know, everyone has been having price increases. It comes with a gorgeous mirror on the front, which was better than the mirror I was using. As you can see, I already got a little dirty, so I have to rewipe it off. I love the packaging of the palette. It's easy to keep clean. You can wipe it off. I love the rose gold detail. So it's like, like those little rose gold metal where you can just lift it is what the reflexes are on this palette of the detail i love anastasia beverly hills packaging they always do so well with the packaging i love the aesthetics of the palette i love shades how they're laid out in the palette i have the shades heavenly in my brow bone so it gave me a lot of glam in my brow bone Overall, I would definitely recommend this palette. I just received a 15% off coupon today from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm like, where were you when I was when I bought this palette a few days ago? However, I bought this on a pre-release because I'm part of their like email wish list and all that kind of stuff. So I was able to get it on a pre-release. So that I'm not sure if they even would have let me use a coupon code for this particular palette. But um, I love this palette you guys should definitely get this i have no doubts that you will love the formula that you will love how it looks you will you can create many looks with it this is a very versatile palette i just love palettes like this so that's my overall first impressions i hope that you guys like this video please like comment subscribe and share I'll see all your beauties in the next caramel curls 15 video bye